And I will be the first to say that I really hate the dentist. I hate the way you feel out of control when they like lie you back in the chair. And I hate the way the tools feel and sound on your mouth, like on your teeth. And I hate the way they get like your own mouth garbage all over you like your own face i think i have a legitimate phobia of of mouth garbage like it really freaks me out i mean used floss is probably like one of the things in the world that i hate the most but i had to go to the dentist because it was my six month checkup and i'm like trying to be an adult who has her life together and takes care of herself i'm having moderate success with that and then it occurred to me that i know i have this association between healthy mouth and like healthy body. I realized I don't know a lot about it, so I figured I'd take some ownership of this unpleasant situation and try and like empower myself with some information. And I found out some cool things. It turns out that your mouth is full of microbes. And as we all know, this is like one of my favorite topics of all time. I just did a video about um, your gut microbiome on Seeker's channel, which I will link up here. You should go watch it. It's really interesting. Basically, the bugs that live inside of you control your whole life and like your choices and your mood and your body. So I shouldn't have been surprised when I found out about this in happening in your mouth. So your mouth full of microbes it has its own microbiome. When you're taking care of your mouth, so you're doing good oral hygiene and you're flossing and you're brushing and you're mouth washing and you're not eating too much sugar, then your mouth's microbiome is balanced and healthy. And then the good microbes that are in your mouth can fight off bad bacteria that can cause infection. Now, when you're not being so good, maybe you're eating too much sugar, maybe you're not flossing, that kind of situation, not a good idea. Then the bad bacteria take advantage of this imbalance of good bacteria in your mouth and can infect the tissue in your mouth, primarily your gums. Now, gum disease is called periodontal disease, apparently. And in mild situations, it just involves bacteria infecting your gums, even though that's still not a fun time. But in, in really bad situations, it can get infection all up in your like tooth's bony support structure and can make your teeth fall out which is terrifying. By the way, I already ate my dinner because there was someone doing yard work and I couldn't film this video. And then by the time they were quiet, I was done. So instead I'm having dessert, which is peanut butter and chocolate chips in my favorite mug. So basically one of these upshots is take care of the like banging microbiome in your mouth because it's trying its hardest to help you out. Obviously your mouth is one of like the main portals via which you ingest foreign material including bacteria, which may or may not be good for you. If anybody is a creep and makes comments in the comments, you're not welcome here. Anyway, the point is, your mouth is like a very important gateway to the rest of your body and is equipped with a lot of important tools uh, provided to you by your immune system to help keep you healthy. Your microbiome in your mouth is just one small part of your like first line of immune defense that exists in your mouth, and your saliva is another part of that. And that's really important because your mouth, if you haven't noticed, is also connected to like your nasal tissue, your sinuses, your throat, your tonsils. You've got a ton of lymph nodes like all in your head and underneath your jaw. You can usually like, feel them. They're, they'll be swollen if you're sick under here because you've got all of these immune agents like macrophages and natural killer cells and they're sort of housed in your lymph nodes which are all over your body but you've got like a very thick network of them in your head and in your in your jaw and those are a pretty key player in your immune system and keeping you safe from infection so the fact that that your mouth is in such close proximity to like some majorly important immune players is uh you know like a key thing to keep in mind when taking care of 
the mouth. Now, if that microbiome breaks down, if you've got infection in there because you haven't been taking care of them teeth, then you've got issues twofold because not only is there infection and it's up your mouth, but it alerts your entire immune system to the fact that there is some nasty stuff going on in there and it basically turns your entire immune system against you because your mouth is like such an important immune stronghold. So periodontal disease can lead to chronic inflammation all over your body and like a whole host of other problems. And not only that, but you also have less immune defense against other infections. So it's like this reinforcing cycle. So the main things, your mouth is full of bacteria, most of which are good for you. Some of the bacteria are out to get you. You gotta take care of your mouth in order to make sure that the flora in there is staying healthy and balanced to keep the bad bacteria from messing you up because that can not only affect your mouth, but the rest of you. And just to round this video out, my dentist told me two things today that I did not know at all. And I was stunned that I had made it this far into my life and no one told me. Number one is that um, most people have like the most plaque buildup in the underside of their bottom teeth, so like these teeth, but on the other side, because uh, that's where your tongue rests at night and the minerals in your saliva serve to calcify any like, you know, food buildup or like bacterial excretion in there. And that's why it's so hard to get rid of, even if you're brushing and flossing regularly, because I had no idea that our saliva could like mineralize stuff. So that was cool. And then number two, I'm like pissed about because I could have been doing this my whole life. Apparently you're supposed to floss behind the very back tooth. So like, you know, where your teeth end and there's not another tooth after that one, you're supposed to floss behind that one. Like, why don't they tell you this in school? Like this plus taxes would have been like useful things to learn at 16. But instead I can tell you that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell and like most of the early history of Virginia, because that's where I grew up. But you know, like actual life skills. <laughs> and in case any of you are wondering, my teeth are sparkling clean and very healthy and I was told that I was a model patient which made the former honor roll student in me shiver with delight. Well, my dentist today was really cool because she was giving me all of these like cool facts as she was cleaning my teeth, which no other dentist has done. And number one, it like made me feel a little more relaxed about being there because I felt like I was connecting with her on a personal level and also it was distracting me from the unpleasant feeling of the teeth. She was talking about how she talks about it that way with kids too, because so often in their lives, adults are just gonna say like, do this, you have to, it's good for you but they might not necessarily understand it because she was saying like, we're trying to get six year olds to take care of something that's permanent. I mean, their teeth are gonna fall out, but like good hygiene when you're young also makes it more likely that your adult teeth are gonna be healthy because you're taking care of the surrounding infrastructure. That's awesome. Like I think we need more people, especially healthcare professionals who aren't afraid to try and connect with younger people or folks who maybe some professionals may think like, oh, they won't get it. We shouldn't explain it to them or we shouldn't try to connect with them and shouldn't try to connect them with this information. But in reality, change and habit forming comes from feeling like you know why you're doing it and that there's a good reason to do it. I don't know, it really stuck with me and it was really cool. It made me have a different perspective on my feelings about the dentist, which have always been anxiety ridden. And I was like, okay, if we can actually talk about why we're doing this, why it's important, why it affects our health, how our bodies work, then I think healthcare is more effective and more pleasant. Anyway, that's my two cents for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little more, a lot more, like very more casual than maybe I had been planning, but there will be another video next week that is like about a broader thing and is probably a little more finesse maybe. I make no promises. But I just wanted to expose you guys to like the questions that come up for me in my everyday life and the stuff that I think about in in my life. <laughs> Which is often like very strange. And as evidenced by today, kind of totally random. I just really enjoy 
living my life in a way that asks questions and tries to understand more about the world. And I hope that you do the same. Always ask questions, stay curious, figure stuff out, question yourself, question the world, question everything. Okay, we're getting too deep. Hope you liked it, subscribe if you did, like the video, find me all the other different places that will probably be down in the description, and I'll see you next time. Bye.